Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be making cookies with you guys. So today is Easter. Happy Easter if you celebrate. Um, but I got these cookies the other day, and I've never made them before, so I thought, why not try them out with you guys? So, this is going to be a cooking video, which I've not done in a while. So, enough of the talking, and let's get going into the video. So, all you're going to need is a cookie sheet, non-stick, or just a regular cookie sheet. Mine, I have is right here and yeah i'll see you guys with the cookies so i'll place this down enough with the talking make sure you like and subscribe and i will see you guys later with the cookies okay Woo! guys i have my cookies that again i have never made before so i'm gonna make them with you guys so these are the pillsbury ready to bake bunny shaped sugar cookie dough so, while I'm preparing this, you guys, I will be talking about my braces and all the fun stuff that happened to them recently. So, this is a try cookies with me and braces update. So, first, before we do that, let's talk about these. It says that it's safe to eat raw, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to um, put them in the oven. So, place heat oven to 350 or 325 for non-stick cookie sheet. Mine's at 350. It says, place cookie doughs on ungreased cookie sheet. Bake 12 to 14 minutes. Okay, so first we should open this. So, guys, you should play, if you're doing this with me, place your oven to 350 or 325. Okay, so. Oh, they're so cute. Yay, mom, look. So, I'm going to, where's the scissor? Okay. Hold on, I gotta get a scissor. Okay, I'm back with these scissors. Sorry, I just couldn't find the scissors. So now I'm going to cut them up. So while I'm cutting these up, I'm gonna just talk to you real quick. Wait, oh my god, one sec. Technical difficulties with opening these things. There are 20 cookies, it says. Oh my god. Okay, so. So about my braces. So I've had my braces. I've filmed a lot of videos about them. And recently, I've gotten my bottom braces tightened. And as you know, I have an expander on the top of my mouth. They The other day, they removed my expander arms on the sides. So, yeah, that's really fun. So, before I continue, here are the cookies. So, you're going to place them down on your cookie sheet or cookie pan or however you like to call them. Okay. So, I'm going to take these cookies and I'm just going to place them on separately. I wouldn't do them too, too close. So, yeah. So, back to that. While I'm placing these cookies on, I'll just give you a quick update. So, like I said, I have an expander. They recently took off the arms of my expander that connect to my back molars to give me a wider net smile. So, yeah. They took those off. It was not as painful as I thought it was going to be, but the tightening braces on the bottom hurt more than I than taking removing the expander and I'm going back in May and they're going to just tighten the braces again and yes and I do have top and bottom braces before that last appointment I had purple braces and this is yeah and now I have pink and no braces top pink on top and blue on bottom so Talking about cookies now. So that was my quick braces update. Yeah, you just have to turn your oven on. I like to spread these out, but the only thing is here is I don't think this cookie sheet's big enough, so I'm gonna have to get another cookie sheet. So, do I like cookie sheets? I seen these. They make these for like Christmas too. Um, no. Okay, I'm gonna need a bigger cookie sheet because as you can see. 
I'm very limited to my space here, and there are 20 cookies, and they need space to, like, grow and expand. So, this is going to be... Okay, so, let me... They need to have space, too. They say to cook for 12 to 15. 12 to 14 minutes. Alright, that's good. I just have to get my other cookie sheet. Which is right here. I'm going to put this cookie sheet to the side. And I'm going to put the last things here. I haven't done a cooking video in a while, actually. It's been a while. So I'm going to post this video for you guys. And I'm going to try my best to link my, the cooking video before this down. So the cooking video, the last, the latest cooking video I've, the last cooking video I've done, I'm going to post. Okay, so I have placed, here are my cookies and a few on this one because I couldn't fit it so it says to place so this is cover place cookies bake 12 to 14 minutes cookie surface and edges will be pale so they will be white white and color do not over bake them well that's helpful <coughs> okay so I'm going to get my oven mitts here are my oven mitts safety safety wear your oven mitts in the oven when you're gonna put something in the oven and if you need adult supervision, I would get adult supervision. My mom is over there, so she's my adult supervision right now. And I'm going to place... So sorry for this banana. I'm going to place my cookie doughs in the oven. Um, I would do... Does it say to do middle rack or something? Uh, okay. It does not say. So I'm just going to put them on the middle rack. Here are my first batch of cookies going in the oven. And second cookies are going in the oven. Okay. One sec, guys. Here we go. I just didn't do it right. And that is the first step of my bunny cookie things. You can get these basically anywhere. I got these at ShopRite and you could probably get them at like Whole Foods or Shop and Shop, ShopRite or any other store you get to for food. Um, I'm gonna get those cooking and when they are done cooking, I'm gonna get take you guys with me and we'll see how they came out. Thanks for watching this part, but it's not over yet. I'll see you guys when it's done. Hey right, guys, bye. my cookies are officially done cooking. And I got this really nice Easter plate at Home Goods. So you could probably find it there too. It's a nice Easter plate with the little eggs on them. And it's really cute. And my cookies, for a close up on one of them, they have little bunny face. They're sugar cookies. And they're really yummy. So I'm gonna go share these with my mom and dad and my family. And I'm going to try some too. But I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. And remember to go check out my latest cooking video. The one before this one. I'll try my best to link it down below. I'll see you guys in my next video. And yeah. Bye.